So I'm also an author. I've written two books. One is called Trailblazers, and it was just recently published. And what Trailblazers does is it talks about a number of major organizations that have had significant sustainable results in diversity and inclusion. What do I mean by that? What these organizations have done is that they understand how incredibly important it is to understand the talent within the workforce and understand how important it is to develop all the talent within the workforce. Because when you develop the talent, then you're able to meet your customers' needs better. And when you meet your customers' needs better, that monetizes to more money for the corporation. So you have people who have a lot of development, which is what every single person wants, is to feel that they can contribute and that they're getting development. So that's a win. They have customers who are feeling like they're getting the best solutions and perspectives from this diverse workforce. So that's another win. And then the corporation itself, because you've got people that are engaged and you've got customers that are liking what you do, the corporations make more money. So diversity and inclusion are really critical elements of what it takes to be successful in the 21st century. The other book I've written is called Yes You Can, and it is all about the concept of being intentionally resilient. And what I mean by that is that sometimes things happen in our life that are really difficult, and we go into a reactive or responsive mode. And that's not necessarily bad, but life always has things that, obstacles, challenges that come upon us. And so what I talk about is planning for those things, knowing that those things will happen. What's your game plan going to be so that you can be resilient? Resilient in terms of, you know, not just snapping back, but how do you really become proactive so that the things that may come your way that could derail you don't because you've already thought about them and you've got a plan. So in the concept of intentionally resilient, what you really begin to do is think about how can I plan for my future? How can I begin to think about the possibilities of all that could occur and then be able to address them in a way that it's going to be to my advantage? That's being intentionally resilient.